Hello viewers, my name is Florence Maina. Welcoming you to yet another time of Celebrate Your Moment this Sunday afternoon. As previously said, I like to share Sunday afternoon so that we can recapture on what you oh, got from your church and what I also got. And also, we can also share with those who did not go manage to go to the house of God. Uh, today, we started a new series in my home church, Grace Fellowship on Prayer. And I like the way the servant of God brought it with clarity. I liked best the analogy he gave about chipotle food. You know, with the chipotle food, when you go, you choose what you want. You choose the pages, you choose the grains, you choose the meat, you choose the carbs, whatever. And um, God's will in our life, as we pray that the will of God be done, it's not always like the chipotle way. Oh, he was focusing on the Lord's Prayer in Matthew, uh, in Matthew chapter 6. And I picked on first 10 that says, Your kingdom come, your will be done. And also he, uh, he also spoke on Matthew uh, 26. And I want to read verse 39, the second half uh, part of it. And it says, Oh, my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but your will be done. God's will be done. It's not always easy to say, uh, to say that, but it is the best for us. Because when Jesus was crying, Desiring that the cup of pain be removed from him. If it was granted to him that it was removed, he would not have the hope of eternal life, neither would die. And that is to say there are things that we pray and God does not give us the way we go to Chipore. And he has the best plan for us, even for other people. And I hope that you are going to desire to start communicating with God. You know the enemy like to complicate prayer. Prayer is not complicated. It's simply communicating with God. Just like a child communicates with the Father is the same thing we do when we pray. We are communicating with our Heavenly Father. Nevertheless, there is a lot of distraction with the prayer. When you, are, you have sought, when you have set your mind to pray is when you will have that interruption with a phone call. When you have set yourself to pray is that time you are going to feel you are so tired, you are so hungry, or somebody, a visitor, rings the bell. Because there is power in prayer. The enemy fights his day and night. And as I was coming, I thank God. He gave me an acronym of prayer. That prayer releases abundance and yields a lot of produce every time, everywhere. It is referenced with deep respect. Glory be to God. I don't know where you are. You might be saying you're not a prayer warrior. You don't have to be a prayer warrior. Just talking to God. You may start by three minutes. You may go to one hour wherever you are, as long as you make it a constant communicating with God, because the Bible continues to tell us, pray without ceasing, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. May the Lord bless you. And for those who did not go to church, how I pray that next time you can make time to go to the house of God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you that uh, you are like us to communicate with you through prayer. Help us, oh my Father, to desire to have your uh, relationship with you growing through communication in prayer. And for those who have not had that initial relationship by trusting the Lord to be their Lord and Savior, may they desire to have that in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Let us continue to share this message. Again, our text of reverence today was Matthew 26, verse 39.